Get him. Oh, he's in. He's in. Got him. Nice. Got him. Oh, let's go. Oh, no way. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Doubled up in the shack, baby. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> there was another one that just swam through when I was reeling this one up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Woo. -hoo -hoo. Whoa! Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to NB Edits. That was fun. Take a joyride. Thanks, Brand, for a whip. <laughs> oh, you're whipping me, all right. <laughs> Welcome back, folks, to NB Edits. Today, we've got a spectacular walleye fishing video for you. We're way up here in northern Wisconsin, and today, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Last highly time- Highly requested video. Actually. Yeah, highly requested video. Uh, you guys have been asking for us to get on a jig and bite, and lately all year, we have been pretty much strictly running tip-ups, which is always fun. I mean, yeah. it's a good time. I mean, it's a go-to. Yeah, absolute go-to. If you go -to. catch walleyes, it's guaranteed you're getting them on tip-ups. Yeah, pretty much. It's basically the best way to target walleyes through the ice, in our opinion. Some people would probably argue that, but another thing that you guys have wanted to see is possibly some underwater action, some underwater footage. Uh, we've got the Aquaview with us today, so might end up sending that down. And uh, yeah, just got out here. We're gonna go ahead, set up the shack, start drilling some holes. So let's get right into today's video, boys. Alrighty, boys, shack set up, as you can tell behind me. This thing is, Amazing. First time I actually set it up, Brandon's always been the one setting it up, but that took us like, what, 20 seconds? Either way, got the shack set up, got everything inside, holes drilled uh, in the shack, and also around the area we are going to be setting up tip-ups, and we decided to send the Aquaview down just because we like to use this as much as you guys don't see this in the video. We use it pretty much every outing uh, to check for what we're going to be setting up on. We don't just randomly pick holes and just say, yeah, this great spot for a tip up. No, we send this down in every single hole to see if there's rocks, weeds, sand. What we're working with today is actually a sand to a weed maybe some rocks, but maybe sand to weed transition. And when we were sending this down on the very first hole, we marked the walleye. I mean, we saw him, he was probably five feet away, maybe a nice 18, 19 incher. Uh, didn't record it, cause we were like, holy cow, if there's a walleye. So go to the second hole, maybe 30 yards away, send it down, there's two walleyes. Uh, that one we did record, so I'm gonna show that on the screen right now. As you can tell, a lot of sand, and those two walleyes were kind of just sitting there cruising around. So, great sign, considering we only drilled two holes, saw three walleyes, uh, so now we got the shack set up where we saw those two walleyes, and we're gonna be jigging in here, but also having tip-ups on the outside around it. So, got a really good feeling. Uh, I mean, it's great to see there's a lot of walleyes. If you go inside, you can see our setup here. Lots of room, absolutely a ton of room. We got our three holes already drilled out. That's where we're gonna be chilling. And I mean, the rest of it, I don't know. There's there's so much space, we don't even know what to do with this thing. There could probably be four more people jigging with us, but just Brandon and I, uh, we got the live scope, so we're gonna be using that in the shack. And yeah, should be a great, great day of walleye fishing. All right, let's go ahead, send this down. We're gonna show you guys just exactly what we're working with here. So far what we've noticed, again, is a lot of sandy, gravelly bottom here on this hump. And it's exactly what we're looking at here, it seems like. Maybe some weeds down there as well. Definitely some weeds down there that we're seeing. A lot of sand, a lot of gravel. No walleye in this hole yet, but it is looking like a good area, and I think I can see the edge of the weeds way in the background. It's a very clear body of water that we're fishing. With that being said, I think this is gonna be a key spot that we're gonna wanna hit. We're in about, probably about 14, 15 feet of water right here. We're gonna go ahead, grab the flags, and start dropping them in. So we get a lot of questions on the channel, exactly how we like to set our tip-ups for these walleyes. Right here, got my beaver dam. Gonna unhook it. What I'm using is, well, your standard black tip-up line. Mine's black and white. I don't really know the brand or anything, but anything that you can get for tip-up line, that'll work fine. But then I'm running it to eight pound fluorocarbon. 
Uh, this is probably a lot lighter than a lot of you use. As a kid, my dad would use 20 pound braid. We still caught some giant walleye, so it, I won't say it matters as much, but ice fishing, you gotta think you're not moving that bait. That fish is gonna be looking at the minnow for a long time, so we like to use a little lighter line, and uh, seems to be the ticket for us. We've never had any breakoffs really. You just gotta play the fish. But eight pound fluorocarbon to a split shot, and this one we just got a single size 10 red hook. Red hook is the ticket. We found out through the years that red hook just seems to work extremely well. And then, if you guys don't know how to set a tip up, I guess I can show you here quick. Got a weight, drop that down. That's to get it all the way down to the bottom. Once you find the bottom, this hole's a little deeper. Okay, found the bottom, jig it. You can feel the bottom. Right here is where the tip up is gonna be sitting. So I'll grab right there. This is the bottom right here. But you gotta think, this is gonna be in the water. So compensate for that being down in. So now this is actually the bottom when the tip up is in. And for walleyes, anywhere under a foot, this we're fishing just sand. So I'm probably only gonna do about six to eight inches. And right here is where we want our minnow to be at. And I know a lot of people tell us to stop using these uh, and use like a button because it's already on there. These aren't that much of a hassle. Uh, just clip this on to your line. So that way every time you get a flag, you don't have to constantly reset it. You know you can go right up to this and that is exactly where you set it from the start. Go up, take this off. And then go in here. We just got this, so it's not really set up exactly how you want it but we are using suckers so let me go ahead grab a sucker just a medium walleye sucker and i'm gonna hook this bad boy and we are going to send it down i like to hook it right in front of the fin some people hook it behind the fin doesn't really matter just a preference thing send them down and once you get it all the way down you are going to be set and ready to fish. Reel up all the way to the bobber. You got your two settings on the beaver dams. You got your heavy or your light. We'll set on the light because walleyes don't really bite too crazy. And just like that, you are set up, ready to fish. We got all four of our tip-ups in and we are going to head back to the shack now. We're gonna pull out the jigging rods and see if we can get that done. So let's go do it. Well, just set up the last tip up. We got a, we got a tip up back to you. Oh boy. Already spinning. Look at that. How's it feel? On. Doesn't feel terrible. It's a walleye. Head shakes. Oh, nice one. Nice walleye. Let's hey. go. Okay, look at that. Not even set up. Well, we just got set up. We just set our fourth flag. And we were heading back to the shack. Nice, beautiful. I mean, look at how dark and gold this wall is. Nice and perky. Probably, it's a skinnier one, probably a male, but probably 20, 21. It's yeah. longer fish, but definitely a great way to start the night. I mean, wait, that tip up's up over there. We got another oh tip up up. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I'm gonna get this one unhooked, uh, get a release on it, and then we're gonna go check that one out. All right, got her unhooked. Nice, healthy fish. Gonna be recording this for our Instagram story. If you guys wanna follow us on Instagram, we do a bunch of behind the scenes. nb.edits on Instagram. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what a release that was. All right, well, we got another tip up. Let's go tend that one and see if it's another walleye. Whoo, all right. Well, let's check this other tip up here. I do not see a bobber, but we've got no movement yet. We'll go ahead and check this one right away. Took out a decent amount of line, it looks like. We've got this one set up a little bit closer to the weeds than the other ones. So this one could have taken it into the weeds. Feels like the minnow is still there. Unless it's just weeds that I'm pulling in right now. We've got him set up a little bit deeper. No, he's still there. Oh, he got mangled, too. Oh, yeah, tell. he did. Look at that. Yeah. Right on that back side there. 
Well, All right. get her down. They're in. Yeah, they're uh, definitely in. Like I said, this one's closer to the weeds than the other tip-ups that we've got. This one's also a little bit deeper. Uh, the first one that went up was in about 10, 11 feet of water. So kind of interesting to see that that was the first tip-up to go up just because it's more shallow. But you just never know. That's why we've got different depths, different areas, sand, gravel, rocks, weeds. You kind of want a little bit of it all, and that's exactly what we're set up on right here in this hump. Well, we finally made it in the shack, and we're holding jigging rods. We're jigging. Look at that. We're actually doing it. <laughs> I can't even believe it. The walleyes held off of our tip-offs for just enough time to at least where we could hold the rods in our hand and start jigging. We've got the old Garmin Panoptics Live Scope out with us today, and hopefully we can... Uh, Definitely get some walleyes in. Well, it's been about five minutes. Probably check the tip-ups. Yeah. Make sure that we don't have one up. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got two, actually. We have two tip-ups up right now. I didn't even check the other ones, but we do have two tip-ups up right outside the shack. Um, you know, I'd love to get them on the jigging rod, but a fish is a fish, and we're going to catch it regardless of how it is. Oh, All yeah. right, I'm gonna give you the one that's actually spinning. How about that? <laughs> Whichever one of the two is spinning, you can take. That's fair. This one. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? That okay. thing just took off. It wasn't spinning, and then it literally just like. Oh that's... man. That's not a good sign, though. No, that's usually a sign of them feeling hook and running like hell. Yeah, I'm gonna take it anyway. <laughs> yep, he's there. Got him. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. How's it feel? Can't tell yet. Oh, he just he just came off. Gosh darn it. He didn't have it all the way. Ah, uh, Mark's all over this sucker. All right, I'm taking next tip up. <sighs> yeah, I uh, think you gotta. I, I have it. It's deserved, right? At this point, it's stop. I just suck. Well, Nick is one for one, and I am pretty positive I'm zero for five. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel good. I don't know what you're doing, <laughs> but this one doesn't give me much confidence. The other play I attended, uh, well, it was running, so I knew there was a fish tip. And the bobber's right down there. I can just barely see. Oh, I should, I should let you take it then. <sighs> I, I like my one for one. Now nah, we'll check her. Mm. No, nothing. They're being finicky tonight. What is going on? I don't know, but we do have to get back to the shack because. If they're being this finicky on a minnow this size, there could be a lot of smaller ones coming through. And, uh, you know, we're using smaller presentations on the jig rods. It's just whether we can get to that point uh, is the big thing because our tip-ups keep going up. One day, one day it'll happen, but we're not far away from these tip-ups. I mean, these fish are definitely in the area. And the spot we actually set the shack was a spot where we saw two walleyes earlier. So, I mean, I know they're, they gotta be in the area, we just, haven't gotten a chance to actually jig so i'm gonna set this one back up hopefully they give us enough time i mean i'm not going to complain if it goes up again obviously because it's, it's still a tip up but getting some on the jigging rod is what we came here actually to do and uh, we really haven't gotten an opportunity to do that so we better sprint in there and start doing that Oh, 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 right on me, right on me, right on me. Got him. Oh, that was awesome. I was sending the underwater camera down. Oh, my goodness. It was decent. Hey, that's exactly what we're talking Woo! about. Woo, let's go. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, there we go. Well, first one while jigging. That one came up and just throttled me on the old dinner bell. Just got a minnow head, just ripped off a little fat head. Take the head off the minnow, put that on your treble, and this one absolutely crushed it. Love that. So, we're going to go ahead and get this guy back in the water. We were actually able to jig. Yeah, we were, we're like, actually what, in here able two to minutes? jig. That is so exciting. Two minutes back in the shack and just <laughs> nailed one. Nailed him. Probably about a 16, 17 inch walleye, I would say. Just like that. Oh, she's spinning. She's spinning. Oh boy, that is freaking awesome, dude. <gasps> Take it. Here we go, you ready? Yep, yep. Got him. Oh, 
got him. Oh, -ho. not bad. Woo, took out some line. Here he comes. Oh, did he ever? There he is. Oh, he's in. There we go. Let's go. That is freaking awesome. Woo, all right. Another one, probably around that uh, 16 inch range, I would say, maybe 17. That guy choked it, it looks like. Oh, we oh, got another yeah. tip up. He got it. That one out there. All this right, let's go. We're getting so many on the tip ups, we decided to set the camera up like that. See that if is we could get awesome. one to pop, and it worked. <laughs> that was awesome. And we now we got another one. one. All right, well, let's go ahead, get this guy unhooked right away. There we go. All right, go ahead. One last look at him. Put this guy back in there. Super, super gold, dark colors to these fish. See you later, buddy. All right. That is awesome. Get Let's go one. grab that other one. Dirty 30 on this one? What do you think? Maybe. Oh, slow turn. Slow turn, it looked like. I'm just gonna check it right away. You never know, they don't really gotta run that far, I guess, but he is there. It's definitely small. That's why. Yeah. Little guy. There he is. Hey, look Whoa, at that. A smallmouth? No, Whoa. it's a rock bass. Rock bass? What the heck? <laughs> That's actually a tank rock bass. It actually is. You know, as a kid, I've always said that, uh, well, my dad always told me if you catch a rock bass, that apparently, like, the fishing sucks. I don't know if you, any of you guys have ever heard that saying before, but, um, I mean, it doesn't suck because we just, we've been catching walleyes, but a rock bass, <laughs> a big rock bass. It, <laughs> hmm, always something new, I guess, out on the water. Dirty 30, he said. Dirty 30 turns into a freaking rock bass. <laughs> Look at that mark, look at that mark, look at that mark. Way up there. There's another one below it too, Nick. Oh boy. Yep. Propane yep. died, it's freaking cold in here now. He's right on me. Get him. Oh, he's hitting, he's hitting. Got him. Nice. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh, that other one's coming. Oh, let's go. Oh, no way. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Doubled up in the shack, baby. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> there was another one that just swam through when I was reeling this one up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> School of Little Ones just came through, huh? Yeah. Oh. We probably got at least two tip-ups up, huh? <sighs> we got it. These fish are coming in hot right now. I mean, nothing real impressive. Hopefully you guys can see this. We haven't checked the camera, but Woo. probably two is 16. Yeah. 16 inches, something like that. That is awesome, dude. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. We never do this either. That's the funny <laughs> thing. Get a release on him. Just gonna check our tip off quick. See you later, buddy. Let's go. You got one or what? Oh, yeah, we got a tip up. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> let's go attend that tip up. All right. Let's check her out. She couldn't have been up too long. Yep, there's a weight there. Got him. There you go. Head shakes. Feels a little bit better, unless it's just hooked weird. Doesn't feel bad. And he ran. Wow, he ran. <laughs> yeah, it took out a lot of line. Oh, it's a pike. <laughs> Whoa, now he's running. Wow. Holy cow. Whew. Interesting. No wonder he ran so much line out. Yeah, because it's a pike. Probably gonna be one of our last. Wow, look at him running. Holy, holy. <laughs> Just trying to say it's probably gonna be one of our last tip ups of the evening here. We are gonna be staying out a little bit longer. And if, uh, depending on how the fishing's going, might have another video for you guys on the way. So you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that. Probably the last fish of the day. And instead of being a walleye, it seems like it's a decent little pike. An after dark pike, huh? Yeah, this interesting. is interesting. Oh my goodness. Woo. <laughs> That's not a bad pike. No, definitely not a bad one at all. All right, you guys, one last look at them before we send them back. Beautiful pike, like I said, never caught one out of here before, but he is all sorts of revved up. Multi-species day. <laughs> Multi-species day. Incredible night we're having here so far. Like I said, we are gonna be staying out here a little bit longer. That tip up just went up. 
Whew, it's gonna be a crazy night, I think. If you guys wanna see us catch that fish and many more, you guys are definitely gonna have to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and make sure to check out the next one because we're having a crazy night. Whether it's tip-ups or jigging, it's not stopping yet. So stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys got any questions for us, leave it down below. Tight lines from NBS. <laughs>